what's going on? This is Kaiser. Welcome to my new channel. Today we're going to be doing the service car wheel glitch. For this glitch, there's a few requirements. We need an auto shop that's completely full with a donor car and an LED. We need a nightclub with basement 2 and basement 4 full, a bank with garage 1 full, with an auto shop, and a bunker. Alright, to start this glitch off, we're going to head over to our nightclub and go into basement level 2. From there, we're going to be taking the car that's in slot number 1, pulling it outside, and blowing it up. Okay, we got it outside, so I'm going to hit it with a sticky bomb and head back towards my nightclub, and we're going to go back into basement level 2. Alright, now from here, we're going to take the car that's in slot number 2, and we're going to move it down to basement 4, slot number 10. After we've done this, we'll be glitched out, all of the cars in our garage will disappear, and then we'll be kicked to story mode, which is perfect because we need to join an invite only session from here. Once we load back in, we're ready for the next step. We'll be glitched out so you notice that we can't run fast, you can't jump, or pull a weapon. And that's exactly what we want, so we're ready now to job teleport over to the bunker. And this part's super easy, all we have to do is enter the bunker and then exit. From here we just job teleport over to our bank for the next part. Okay, so this next part can be tricky because it's about timing. We need to enter into Garage 1 and enter any vehicle. Once we do, we're going to hit right to modify. As soon as our vehicle enters frame, we're going to press start and wait for the animation to switch on the map screen. Okay, from here, then we're going to back out of the menu and exit to the ground. Now exit the vehicle for a second, then re-enter. The animation will bring us outside and we should see the option to modify the vehicle. If not, we'll have to try it again. Okay, that didn't work, so we're going to have to pull back into the garage and try again and repeat the last steps. Okay, re-enter the vehicle, hit right to modify. Once we pull in, we're going to hit start as soon as you see the vehicle come into frame. Wait for the map to switch, back out of here, exit the menu, exit the ground, exit the vehicle, wait a second, then re-enter. Okay, so this time we got it and we're ready to job teleport over to our auto shop for the next step.
All right, so we're gonna pick a vehicle that we wanna take the mods from. I can either go with F1 wheels or Benny wheels. This time, I'm going with Benny's. All right, so we're gonna jump in and hit right to modify, and we're gonna change one thing on the vehicle. I'm gonna switch the armor to the cheapest one, then put it back to save myself a little bit of money, then pull it back into my auto shop. From here we're going to call up Simeon, request a job, and make our way over to the service vehicle that we want to modify. Hello, this is Simeon. How can I help? Sure, my friend. I'll send you the details. Walk over to the front of the vehicle until you get the option to service it. Once you do, pull up the job from Simeon, select it, and then spam right in the D-pad. Now exit the job and you should see that the mods are on the service vehicle. From this point we're just about done. We're going to walk over to the car that's going to be receiving the modifications. We're going to pull it into the auto shop and change one thing. Okay, so we're going to make one upgrade here, but as we're leaving the shop, we're going to need to spam right on the D-pad. Okay, spam right on the D-pad to work back in the garage. This should freeze us as soon as we're back in our spot. All we need to do is hit the start menu, then exit start, and that will unfreeze us. Exit the vehicle here and make our way over to the service vehicle. Our character's fully glitched right here, we can't move very fast at all, and we're ready for the next step. We're going to enter the vehicle and hit right to modify and make our way into the auto shop. And again, change one item, then return the vehicle. Okay, we can exit the vehicle here, and as you can see over in the corner, the merge was successful. So at this point, we're just going to re-enter the vehicle, change one more thing to get the vehicle to save, and we are done. From here I just switch servers, for some reason it won't let me drive it out, but once you do you're good to go. Okay that's it, thanks everybody for watching. If you found this helpful or enjoyed it, throw me a like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.